Alright, when you have a little bit of money, you're cast, Bronson's Cave, and a bunch of mismatched outfits borrowed from a costume shop downtown to create your monster, you get the movie Robot Monster. Right in the middle of the 1950s sci-fi monster flick era, 1953's Robot Monster tells the story of this race of Roman who sends one of their own to Earth to wipe out all human race with uh, their death rays. But only one family survives due to the scientific father who creates this serum that makes them immune to the Roman's death rays. So basically the whole movie is the Roman roaming around trying to get his job done basically. All that's happening and he falls in love with uh, a, the beautiful daughter which creates a whole Beauty and the Beast scenario while all this insanity is going on at the same time. Shot in only four days with all exterior shots, Bronson Cave is the main location like I mentioned. Um, Bronson Cave is in Griffith Park in Los Angeles, it's very close to the Hollywood sign. Yeah, well this location has been used to death in movies and TV shows like Batman the A-Team, uh, Power Rangers, um, Hail Caesar, uh, The Searchers, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, uh, the list goes on from there. Usually this location is used as a transition or an insert shot. No, in Robot Monster it's the main fucking location, the main attraction of the whole movie. It should have gotten top billing if anything. What an agent this location must have. But the main eye candies of the movie are the bubble machine, which got its own credits because fuck it, you gotta love the bubble. And the Roman himself. What a fucking joke of a costume to give your monster. Half gorilla, half astronaut. Were they dropping acid when they went into the costume department and thought this would look good? You'd think this was taking the piss of the genre, but it's the real fucking deal. There's stock footage added of reptiles fighting to fill in the time for some reason. There's time wasting scenes of just the monster walking around. For fucking ages he's just roaming around the location. There's a fucking intermission. This movie is only 62 minutes long. Even at that length it feels so long with all the filler it has. Was the script written on the fucking napkin? How long is the script? Is it a pamphlet? This movie was originally advertised as being 3D. I could only imagine seeing this gorilla dude on screen in 3D was like considering he's in this movie a lot. In the end, the kid was only having a dream of the whole movie after being knocked out at the beginning. Or was it? Man. That movie is a struggle to sit through. Holy shit, it's bad. It's one of the most boring movies to sit through and it makes little to no sense. Four days this movie was shot in. It looks like a family just gathered together and went on a day trip to Bronson's Cave and took a camera and a gorilla suit with them and shot this for a piss take. I love a good bad movie. I'm a sucker for them, but this is just boring as fuck and bad. This has to be up there as the most abysmal movie I've ever seen. But at the same time, I'm guilty of watching it maybe five or six times, give or take. But that doesn't change my opinion on this thing. Not really worth watching. More wise to stick to the Mystery Science Theater episode on it. Runs longer yet quicker than the regular Robot Monster movie. You look like a pooped out pinwheel.